today I'm going to teach you how to play Andy Hamilton's Silver Shine. And I'm going to tell you the story of Andy Hamilton's Silver Shine. Andy would have been 103 if he was still here on March the 26th. Now, the story of Andy Hamilton, this is Jamaican Andy Hamilton. There are two Andy Hamiltons, believe it or not. There's also a guy who played on Duran Duran's Rio. But this is Jamaican-born Andy Hamilton. Let me tell you the story of that and Silver Shine now. Now, Andy... Uh, first started playing a bamboo saxophone when he started in Jamaica in the, in the 1920s. And then in the 1940s, Hollywood legend and one of my heroes, Errol Flynn, arrived in town and heard Andy play. And for the next two years, he played for Errol Flynn on his boat called the Zaka. In 1948, he composed the, the, the precy of the song that we're going to play today called Silver Shine, uh, this jazz calypso, 1948. 1949, he set sail for, for America, stopped off in England, met his future wife, had lots and lots of, 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 of children, um, and never got any further than Birmingham. And from there, he set up his own music, um, teaching the saxophone, and taught hundreds and thousands of people how to play the saxophone. Was an, was an amazing, um, was an amazing ambassador of the saxophone. He lost his two front teeth fighting, um, getting when he got beaten up by uh, Oswald. Uh, Mosley's fascist at a concert and he still kept going and he played for the West Indian cricket teams in the 1950s. So he was a royal local celebrity, played in a, 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 a pub called The Bear in Birmingham. In 1985 he was rushed to hospital in a diabetic coma and was not expected to live. While in the coma, amazingly, the melody to Silver Shine, a song he'd not played or thought about in nearly 30 years, came to him and brought him out of the coma. In 1988, on his 70th birthday, um, where he played at the Bear, a writer called Val Wilmer came to see him play, and from that he ended up playing at the Soho Jazz Festival. Nick Gold uh, from World Circuit, who um, also did one piece of Shush Cup, heard him playing. Suddenly Andy had made it at 72 years old. He brought an album out called Silver Shine to universal acclaim. Mick Hucknall sung on it. Um, everyone played on it and everyone loved, loved his sound and it was fantastic. And it was a great album and a seminal album in my life. And this sound was described by John Fordham, who's a very famous jazz critic, as sumptuous, sensuous, gifted and mercurial. Hamilton's sound is irresistible. It's a beautiful sound. And Andy also um, ended up getting an MA, MBA, um, MBA, MBE from the Queen MBA. He got, probably would have got a master's in music as well. He knew everything about it. So on his uh, albums, check out Otram, that's a fantastic track. Um, Nobody Knows the Trouble inspired me from my teaching book, uh, Blow Out Sax uh, for Beginners. There's a version of that and that's very much inspired by Andy. And also he does a beautiful version of I Can't Get Started. So Andy Hamilton, um, we're gonna do a, um, a reprise he does on the Silver Shine album of the solo saxophone track called Silver Shine. It's a really fantastic little track to learn. So. That's the story, and an amazing story, of Silver Shine. Point two. Now this song is a solo sax, which is wonderful, and I always warm up with it, and my, and my beautiful boys, it says it reminds them of being, uh, being little, and I would always warm up with it. I'd always warm up with that, so I always warm up with somewhere, a bit of rainbow, and sometimes some tunes I just warm up with, and it's one I really know, and it was lovely, but on a company of saxophone, you play it quickly, you can play it slow, you can play it how you like. And you can hear when Andy plays it, it's been under his fingers for many, 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 many years. In fact, 1948. He has complete ownership. So try and learn it by heart. This takes time, but it's worth it. Day in, day out, day in, day out. Just learning a little, little section at a time. So that's the next thing. And number two. So it's a solo sax track, which you can play. So if someone says, go on, play something, you can just pick up the sax and you could just play it and it would kind of make you look very cool. And it's a fantastic track. Point three. Now, anyone who knows me knows how much I love love and I'm in love with Jamaican music. I've written a book on Tommy McCook, it's called The Kings of Jamaican Sax. Tommy McCook and Roland Alfonso from the original Scatterlight, Cedric I Am Brooks, and also the, uh, the leader of it today is uh, Big Bad Dean Fraser. Now I really love this and Andy's album was the trigger track for me um, for also finding other solo sax pieces because I think the sax is so powerful an instrument and so strong melodically I'm not, always, I'm not always convinced it needs anything around it to kind of really shine. So I've been on a constant quest, and I'm still on a constant quest, to hear amazing solo sax um, tracks. But uh, yeah, I love um, reggae music, I love Jamaican music, and I even write my own under, um, under a, a band name called Baba Mass, which is on Spotify. So um, yeah, this was definitely one of the trigger um, pieces of music for me to investigate further. 
uh, more Jamaican music. Point four. Now this track is in G major for alto with G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G and in C major for tenor sax. So it's in a nice easy key. The structure of it is, is verse one, verse two, the middle section is the banana boat song and then it comes back to verse three. So have that structure in your head when you're learning the tune as well. Okay, so that's the structure of Silver Shine, the reprise, uh, the solo sax track. When Andy Hamilton plays Silver Shine, he plays with the light depth touch. It's really depth, the touch of, of the Caribbean. It's a joy, it's soft, it's light, it's lyrical, it's soft tongue and also very flamboyant as well. As all sax players do, he plays with absolute directness of where each phrase is being um, defined. Everything is like whew, straight to the point. There's no faff, it's just a very direct sound. So um, beautiful, and again, really absorb his tone. His tone, as we heard earlier, is sumptuous. It's a beautiful sound, created and carved over 50 plus years. So, um, so a man at the peak of his powers in his 70s and playing some really beautiful saxophone. Point six. There are certain techniques that Andy uses. For example, he uses the B and the top side key, and he uses little trills and little crush notes and little throwaway notes and little gliss and lots of glisses. So again, each aspect of this, break it down into bite-sized chunks and make sure that you, uh, you really focus on those little nuances as well. Point seven, as I said earlier, the middle part where it switches into the banana boat song is really lovely. It's a change of feel, it's a change of direction. So again, go with that as well and get that, and get that lovely feel. It really changes the piece before it goes back to verse three. So again, listen to each part. Really listen attentively um, to each the way each phrase is played. So it's really lovely that change of direction in the middle. You almost don't quite expect it. Point number eight. The genesis of this song, the origin of this song, which, which, which was the first one that I heard, Silver Shine by Andy Hamilton, has led me on to listen to and, and discover more wonderful solo pieces. Amongst them, Farrah Saunders, The Bird Song. I can hear the birds outside, we are in spring. Um, which is a wonderful song, first two and a half minutes of that. Old Bobby Watson, again, is, is longer, but I always think about two and a half minutes for a solo sax track. Bobby Watson's Blue Sax, that's another fantastic one as well. And maybe even try and write one yourself. I've written one called Blue Arch. Um, so maybe even just see if you can hear a melody and write one yourself or hear a melody of somebody else's thing. I wonder if that would work if it was stripped right back and just played as a sax, sax, a solo sax track. And at all blowout sax gigs, I always get someone to get up and play and my hat is taken, I always take my hat off to every single person who's gone up and played. And often it's one of the most fantastic moments of the night. So you've got a full on band, lights flashing, and then someone gets up and plays um, the bird song. Ellie got up and played the bird song, brought the place down. Uh, Lyndon Green got up and played a track called Paul Pero by John Sermon, brought the house down. So often the solo sax track is one of the greatest moments of the night. So um, yeah, wonderful thing to do, try and find some more solo sax tracks, but really enjoy playing this wonderful song, which is Silver Shine by the late and very great Andy Hamilton. <laughs>
Andy Hamilton's Silvershine.